Today we are gonna to talk punches. It's been an industry issue for decades. We've all had them, we all get them, and it always seems to happen at the worst possible time. A new product has hit the international market by a company called Tannis. It is made of an aether foam. Now, it's a polymer style foam material. It is extremely pliable, very flexible, yet it is bulletproof. Virtually impossible to cut, to tear, or to penetrate through any foreign objects, rocks, nails, um, cat eyes, cat heads, any of that stuff. So why would I go back to a tube after running tubeless for so long? Tubeless has already proven itself to be extremely reliable, but it does still have its flaws. And I think those flaws are covered with the Tannis armor. Not only that, the Tannis armor does provide a few additional features that a tubeless system simply cannot. Apart from the notably obvious when you start riding the bike, it is definitely the increased sidewall support and stability that you get with the Tannis armor that really makes a big difference. Roosting berms, hitting rock gardens, you don't get a collapse of the sidewall like you can see here with the tubeless system. With the Tannis, the body of the tyre completely compresses down, enabling the sidewall to work with the top section of the tyre. So there's no rolling out from underneath you unexpectedly. As you can see, you can hit rocks, rock gardens, the back wheel doesn't get bucked, it doesn't bounce, it tracks on the ground really smooth, and that's thanks to that 15mm of the armour that covers across the top section of the tyre. Completely protects the rim and offers a beautiful ride. This product will allow you to run lower tyre pressures, it will increase your sidewall stability and support, virtually eliminate punches completely, um, pinch flats, rim damage and loss of air due to sidewall gashes are pretty much non-existent when you run the Tannis armour. The other bonus of this is you are running lower tyre pressures, you are beefing up the sidewall support, the sidewall stability, but you are also increasing the suppleness on the top section of the tyre. So you're actually getting a lot of that feel back for the trail when you run the Tannis Armour as well. So the Tannis Armour starts off at 2 mil thick at the bead section. It then steps up to 5 mil across the entire sidewall section and then a nice healthy 15 mils of thickness around the top. Now that 15 mils across the top here creates a brilliant, super smooth ride across rough terrain. When you're going across rocks, you lift that back wheel through rocky sections. When the, when the tyre compresses and hits the armour, it completely protects the rim, makes no noises whatsoever, and, and it also helps to avoid the back wheel from bouncing and pinging off sharper objects as well. The other thing I really like about the Tannis armour is its price point. It is not expensive at all. It comes in a box and has a suggested retail price of under $59 each. I'm pretty sure local bike shops here in Australia are doing $99 for the pair. Something very serious to consider as well is that Tannis Armour is not just for downhill riders, enduro racers. Uh, this product will work for recreational riders, commuters. It is for anyone that rides a bike and is tired of getting punches or is looking at a way to exceed their performance on the trail.